What if I told you that changing the color of your eyes could be as easy as changing your clothes? Imagine having the power to choose your eye color, just like picking an outfit for the day. I'm Dr. Michael Chua. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist with Pointe Hills Eye Care. And in this video, I'll be discussing the different ways you can change your eye color. From colored contact lenses to surgical procedures, we'll talk about five different options of what's currently available for changing your eye color. Before discussing the techniques of changing your eye color, we need to decide if we want a temporary or permanent change. If temporary is your choice, then colored contact lenses are the way to go. The color contacts I prescribe most often are the Air Optics Colors by Alcon. They come in lots of different colors and patients often mention that they feel comfortable to wear. With these colored contact lenses, and any contact lenses for that matter, it's important to use them as directed by your eye doctor. That means don't sleep in them, make sure to wash your hands before handling them, and change them out as directed by the manufacturer. While we're on the topic of colored contact lenses, I've seen these real diamond and 24 karat gold contact lenses popping up in social media. And these can be bought for ten dollars or $15,000 for a pair. Now, these contact lenses haven't been rigorously tested for safety, so for now, I'd recommend staying away from these bling bling contact lenses. What about if you want a more permanent change? There are now several surgical techniques available to patients hoping to permanently change their eye color. And even more recently, gene therapy is currently being studied as a new technique to permanently change our eye color, and I'll discuss that at the end of the video. Now, let's explore different techniques for permanent eye color change. First, let's talk about iris implant surgery. In this surgery, doctors make a little incision in the cornea or the front of the eye and insert a colored silicone implant over your natural iris to give your eyes a new eye color. Using iris implants for cosmetic purposes is actually not approved in the United States by the FDA. So patients usually go to other countries like Panama or Mexico to get this procedure done. I'll say this right off the bat. This surgery is dangerous and you should not have it done. If you or someone you know is thinking about doing it, don't do it. This is a study from 2012 from the New York Eye and Ear Infirmary where I completed my ophthalmology training. In this study, doctors described seven different patients who received iris implants called the new color iris. And unfortunately, they all went on to suffer from debilitating eye complications. The doctors had to remove the iris implants in all 14 eyes of the seven patients who had them done. Patients suffered from complications such as poor vision, inflammation, corneal swelling, increased intraocular pressure, and glaucoma. Five eyes went on to require a partial corneal transplant seven eyes needed cataract surgery, six eyes required serious glaucoma surgery, and one eye required a full corneal transplant. I personally took care of one of these patients, and I mean, all of them were really sad cases. These were people who otherwise had normal vision, but after undergoing iris implant surgery, they developed these terrible eye complications. They spent countless visits to the hospital, had several surgeries costing several thousands of dollars, lost their vision, and ended up with disfigured eyes with lots of scar tissue. Now, believe it or not, there are iris implants that are available in the US. They have a better safety profile and they're actually approved by the FDA. The artificial iris from Human Optics is also a silicone colored iris implant, but instead of sitting on top or in front of the iris like the other problematic iris implants, the artificial iris implants are designed to go behind the iris, inside an area of the eye called the posterior chamber. You see, the problem with those other older iris implants such as the new color iris is that since they're sitting on top of the iris in a space called the anterior chamber, they rub up against the cornea or against the front of the iris, which causes a lot of problems like corneal injury, inflammation, or glaucoma. But with these artificial iris implants, since they're in a much safer position behind the iris or in that area we call the posterior chamber, there's a much lower risk of implant related complications. They come in a wide variety of colors and look incredibly natural and realistic. But the important thing to keep in mind with these implantable irises are that they're intended for medical use only and not intended for cosmetic change of color. They're actually used to treat a condition called aniridia, or basically patients who either don't have an iris or a significantly damaged iris. Some people are born without irises, and we call that condition congenital aniridia. And some people, for example, someone who's had bad eye trauma, may have parts of their natural iris missing. And our iris serves an important function. Our irises help to block unwanted extra light from our environment from hitting our retinas. I've treated multiple patients with aniridia before, and unfortunately, if you have aniridia, it can be debilitating. Patients are so sensitive to light, not just bright sunlight outside, but even LED lights we see basically everywhere indoors. The whole world is blindingly bright to patients with aniridia. So these artificial iris implants are a very nice option to help these patients helps them treat their glare, photosensitivity, and improves their quality of life. Okay, so we covered iris implants. Now we're going to discuss another technique of changing your eye color called keratopigmentation, or basically corneal tattooing. 
Now, corneal tattooing is a technique that historically has been used to help patients treat cloudy corneas. Patients can have corneal scars or white corneas for several different reasons, maybe from a previous trauma or an infection, and some people can be self-conscious about the appearance of their scarred corneas. And so eye doctors can basically inject tattoo ink into the cornea to permanently change its eye color. Corneal tattooing is also sometimes used for patients who may have little holes in their iris, either from previous laser procedures or trauma, and that hole in their iris is causing significant glare. So eye doctors can inject some tattoo ink into the cornea in the area where the iris hole is to help treat the patient's glare symptoms. But now, going a step further, some eye surgeons are offering corneal tattoo as a cosmetic procedure for patients who want to permanently change their eye color. Now, it seems like the surgical technique they use is that they create a donut-shaped pocket in the cornea using a femtosecond laser, or the same laser we use for LASIK, and then inject dye into that pocket to change the color of the cornea. And if you look at the results, the procedure allows you to permanently change your eye color. Now, there actually have been a few studies looking at corneal tattooing. For example, this one published in the journal Cornea in 2021, and this one in BMC Ophthalmology in 2023. Both of these studies came to similar conclusions, and that was that the procedure was generally well tolerated. They both reported that the most common adverse effect was glare and light sensitivity the first few weeks after surgery, although some patients did report glare and dryness several months after the procedure. The first paper also reported that 35.4% of patients required reoperation with a color touch-up, while the second paper reported that 53% of patients came back for a touch-up. First of all, I don't think the results look all that great or natural. Secondly, I think we really need to weigh the risks and benefits of this procedure. It's one thing if you have a patient with a blind eye that has a disfiguring corneal scar that really affects their quality of life. I can see the appeal of this procedure, but if you take an otherwise healthy eye with good vision and put it under the knife, or laser in this case, for a permanent aesthetic change with possible long-term complications, I personally think that the risk-benefit ratio doesn't quite add up. And for that reason, I don't offer or recommend this procedure to patients. And while we're talking about corneal tattooing, Another trend that has popped up recently is scleral tattooing. So basically, I don't think these are doctors, maybe tattoo artists. They use tattoo ink to stain the sclera or the white part of the eye. Since the trend has become popular on social media, eye doctors have had to treat many complications from people doing this. There are countless reports of people who accidentally put the needle all the way into their eyeballs and injected the dye into the eye. This led to eye inflammation, glaucoma, cataracts, and corneal failure. These poor people had to have several surgeries to try to fix the mess from scleral tattooing, but some of them ultimately suffered significant loss of vision. Now let's talk about another eye color changing technique called laser depigmentation. It's basically a procedure that involves a laser called a YAG laser to alter the color of your iris. Basically, eye doctors aim a laser at the front part of the iris to shoot off the melanin pigment on the front surface of the iris. This reveals the gray iris tissue underneath. With this technique, you can't really choose the color of your eye because everyone has gray iris tissue underneath the color part. So if you get this procedure done, your eye color will change to a lighter shade of gray. This study, published in 2021 from Dr. Pedro Ruiz in Spain, reviewed the outcomes of 1,176 eyes who received the procedure. The results were overall good, with the most notable side effect being eye inflammation, which resolved a few days after the procedure. Although the results from this study seem promising, there was a recent case study from 2022 in the Journal of Glaucoma and another case in the European Journal of Ophthalmology, which described patients who developed severe glaucoma after receiving the laser depigmentation procedure and require trabeculectomy glaucoma surgery. So this laser procedure also has several risks and I currently don't recommend it to patients. The last method I'll discuss that's currently being studied for changing eye color is gene therapy. This report from the Ophthalmology Times describes a new gene therapy technique that scientists have used to successfully change the eye colors of rabbits. In this technique, they inject a specially engineered virus into the front of the eye to deliver a specific gene to the pigmented cells called the melanocytes in the iris. This gene, called the herpes simplex virus thymidine kinase, or HSVTK, is what they call a suicide gene. And so by injecting this genetically engineered virus carrying the suicide gene into the front of the eye, they're able to specifically target the pigmented cells in the front of the iris. So far, the results have been promising in rabbits, but there's still a long way to go before the technology moves on to human use. The scientists will also need to make sure that they're selectively able to target only iris pigment cells and not inadvertently target other cells in the retina, the eye, or the whole body, which would obviously cause a whole slew of problems. Okay, so we covered five different ways to change your eye color, from contact lenses to iris implants to corneal tattooing to iris lasering and gene therapy. Although there's a lot of ongoing research to establish which techniques are safe and effective, the only method I'd actually feel comfortable enough to do for myself 
would be the colored contact lenses for a temporary color change. With the other surgical procedures, you always have to weigh the risks and benefits and consider that there's always a risk of complications occurring. If you find the information in this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future updates. And if you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and want to get an eye exam, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Pointe Hills Eye Care, and I make videos to help you see better, look better, and feel better. See you next time.